Hello everybody, welcome to the Promo Slam 2 pre-show. We're about half an hour away from Mike Larkin's third defense of the Max Rasting Knowledge Championship. I'm Daddy Dangerously and I'm here with the OG, the original Knowledge Champion, the Sensei of Wrestling Podcast, and the man that makes your Sundays too sweet with Sunday Segue, Mr. Kinney Killer. Yo, what's happening guys? I am here, I am back on the Max Wrestling doing what I do best and that's making sure I give the knowledge to obviously take the crown so I want my crown back man I want my <laughs> crown back <laughs> well Mike may be wobbling he, he had three straight defeats from the Phoenix uh, non-title of course before picking it up again this week <laughs> non-title of course, of course <laughs> <not that. laughs> we shall see Mike, oh, Mike well. is going into promo slam on his 201st day as champion that's only two weeks behind your reign Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Well, let's see let's see what goes down man <laughs> alright well let's get into some trivia then because the first round for promo slam is the wall of summer and Kenny chose questions on the one and only Brett the Hitman Hart so round one is of course the wall of summer you get 15 seconds to answer three questions it's really that simple and of course when the time is up you will hear this particular noise. I'm not with you. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Broad. All right, 15 seconds to die. <laughs> with the first question. And it's this. In what year did Bret Hart leave the WWE for the WCW? Uh, it, what, officially, uh, would have been 97. Yes. How many tag team championships did Bret win with Jim Neidhart? Tag team championships, too. Yes. Following his 2010 return, I'll oh, finish the question, to WWE, what championship did Bret win? 2009 return, sorry. U US championship. Yes, it was. Three out of three. Good time. The Sunday Segway Wrestling Podcast. Every Sunday, bringing you 100% news, 100% banter. We give you no less than 100% every week. Interviewing the best and up and coming wrestling talent there is in the world. Hi, this is Ring of Honor superstar Adam Cole. Hey guys, this is Justin Rosero from the Place to Be Podcast. This is the People's Princess, Nadia Sapphire. Hi, this is Rob Schirmer. This is Shiloh Jones. Hi, rushing fans. This is the Alpha Female. Hey guys, this is Jay Tuck, formerly known as WWE Tyler Rex. Hello, pro wrestling fans. This is pro wrestler V. Brian Kendrick, and you're listening to the Sunday Segway. The Sunday Segway. Sunday Segway. Sunday Segway Wrestling. 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 Sunday and make sure you check out their song Stand Your Ground it's one of the theme songs for Promo Slam 2 you can check it out right now on iTunes and Spotify make sure you do because as you can hear it's rocking now then of course it is uh, NXT TakeOver and SummerSlam which will be predictions which we will be predicting on Promo Slam 2 so let's do a couple of quick predictions while we're around uh, so let's kick it off with NXT Brooklyn the third <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, the pre-show match. Is it a pre-show match? Yes. What did they put on as a pre-show match? The 
pre-show match. Oh no, there isn't a pre-show match. I thought there was going to be one with uh, Almas, but nope. So uh, let's strip. He's on the main card apparently against Johnny Gargano. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sure. It's got to be Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, either it'd be Johnny or it'd be some kind of smosh by um, what's it called Almas, but I reckon it'll be Johnny. I gotta be honest, I haven't really kept up that close to NXT, but I can kind of see where they're going with this one. Yeah, I mean, like, so Fia Trinidad, um, uh, you know, uh, Austin Aries' wife, she's she's his valet or whatever you want to call it, and yeah. um, yeah, and so she's in there now, just like make try like helping him win and stuff like that, and giving him some confidence or whatever. So um, yeah. She challenged the latest uh, NXT. She she challenged Gargano to fight um, Almas. So yeah, but Johnny's just you know they're trying to um, they're trying to get Johnny uh, to be you know um, he's going to be a star, but they're trying to build him up as a single superstar now. So he won't lose. He had a really good showing against Raul Mendoza um, the other week, and uh, yeah, he's he's he should win. Yeah, that's great timing. That is as she comes in after Nairi's leaves. Yeah, yeah, but, that, but what does that mean for her? You know what I mean? Like, hopefully everything's done amicably, so it's not, you know, it doesn't affect her. I'm not entirely sure Vince even knows she's with Austin Aries. <laughs> <laughs> it's NXT me. stuff, it doesn't concern Vince. Uh, so, Alistair Black versus Hideo Itami. Now, a lot of people were saying a few months ago that Itami was on his way out of WWE. Due to his um, uh, well, multiple injuries. Yeah, I, I think it's a bit premature to say he'll be out. I think. Uh, oh really? Yeah, I think he. I think. Oh, I don't know, man. It's a weird one. I, I think he's got one more year to show, and then he'll probably want to go back to Japan. But I mean, this match is going to be nuts, man. This match is going to be amazing. And, and, and Alistair Black, he, you know, Tommy and he is going to be a star. And WWE have done amazingly without making him talk. He hasn't talked once since he's been there. He hasn't said not one word. He's just been kicking people in the face. And I just, that's what they, that's what they need to do with him. Just don't make him talk. Keep him mysterious. And just, but yeah, he's one to look out for for the, for the future, yeah. definitely. Well, not for the future, for now. <laughs> the future is now. As this is NXT. Uh, yeah, also Alice has gone over so quickly. Um, so the tag team championship match, the Authors of Pain versus Sanity. Um, how long have Authors of Pain held those titles now? And they've had them for hot, they've had them for a while, but um, I think they've they've grown, and I think that's what they wanted them to do to grow with the title, and uh, it's worked. I just don't see why Ellering needs to be there, but obviously for the talking. But it's like it's weird. Yeah, it's just a bit. It's a bit weird having Ellering there. But I think um, Authors of Pain have done well. It wouldn't surprise me if they'll be making it way onto the main roster soon. I mean, WWE NXT are bringing in some tag teams, some new tag teams at the moment. So yeah. let's have to wait and see. But whether Sanity takes it down, I'm not sure. Um, Boy, uh, I don't know. Maybe they 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 want a change, but I think uh, authors should pay, authors of pain should retain. Yeah, I mean, if if one of them was Eric Young, I'd uh, probably maybe edge towards sanity, but it's not Eric Young competing for him. It's Alexander Wolfe and Kelly and Dane. Um, mm-hmm. They've actually held the titles one day longer than Mike has held the Knowledge Championship. They won it back at the end Ooh. of January. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. The two, I guess it's a double main event. We always have uh, the women on second to last, unless they're on main event. So, Asuka versus Ember Moon, finally. It should be me. It could possibly Uh, be um, me. Yeah, so, it should be, definitely, because I ain't looking forward to But I I will get to that when we get to it. But, um, (laughs) (laughs) but, yeah, um, Asuka... You know, um, she's just been amazing. I think it's time for her to go to the main roster. Um, maybe they make make a hang around, but I think that bringing in um, Kari Sane and uh, um, Ayo Shirai, I think they're direct replacements for her. So she'll probably she she should probably she'll probably lose to Ember Moon. Um, and then the, with all these women in the you know the the May Young Classic coming up, I think they're ready for her to go up because they'll have enough women there now to really you know 
help the division. So it's time, it's time, it's time for Asuka to go to go up. So she'll lose, I reckon, to, to um, Ember Moon. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Especially if they've actually built this one from Ember Moon's injury. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, so, possibly main event, possibly semi-main event. Uh, Bobby Roode defending against Drew McIntyre. Uh, sometimes I still want to call him Galloway. For the NXT Championship. <laughs> Two mm, former TNA no. guys. Yeah, NXT and <laughs> Literally. Literally. Um... Again, I don't think Drew McIntyre has done uh, enough um, since he's come in to get into that spot, but he's there. I think they, he, you know, they may want to push Bobby Roode up. There's loads of guys coming in. Uh, Bobby Roode's not exactly young, so they might want to push him up. But yeah, Drew McIntyre will probably win. Um, I'll be surprised if he doesn't. Uh, but Drew McIntyre will probably win. Yeah, I thought it was a quick push up for McIntyre because he's only been back in NXT for a few months, hasn't he? Yeah, well, exactly. Uh, okay, so yeah, only uh, five matches for takeover, and now on to SummerSlam, which has eleven matches <laughs> <laughs> that we know of. <laughs> that so far, yeah. <laughs> this doesn't even include the pre-show match that they're probably going to add. Oh, uh, so uh, I'll kick off with the last one that was added, which was John Cena versus Baron Corbin, because as I said on Max last week. I uh, pro- couldn't believe the words were coming out of my mouth, but I kind of enjoyed Cena's promo. It was a, it was a more humble side of him where he just straight up said, "Yep, I lost." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, what else could he say, really? You know, what what else could he really say? But um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this match, man. I, I Baron Corbin, man, they just need to do some. He just needs to change some stuff, man. Definitely needs to change some stuff. I just, he's, he's, his rings, his in ring style. I think he needs someone. I mean, obviously, seeing it in there, you know, um, you'll make it look good. But I just think there's a lot more. I think he's coasting, and I think he's filling it a little bit. Baron Corbin, uh, he almost, he almost wrestles like he's not enjoying himself. It's weird, but um, yeah, I just think there's more to come from him. Before he should even think about having that, they're so high him, but I don't understand what they see that we do not see him. Yeah, I, I get it. I mean, there are still some parts from that are slightly green. Uh, I, I honestly didn't think he'd be in a t- in a title picture at this point. Mm. But we'll see. I mean, te- technically speaking, he's got nearly a year to cash in that contract, so maybe they'll wait that long. Maybe they won't. No, in mm-hmm. WWE they won't. <laughs> uh, so the other singles match that doesn't really matter is Big Show versus Big Cass with another Shark Cage match with Enzo and the Shark Cage. Oh my days! They're pushing that toy. I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, all I'm going to say about this is that um, they're trying to get they're, they're trying to get Cass over so Cass wins. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's obviously just seven footer versus seven footer. That's, yeah. that's the only reason they're against each other. They're both big. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. Do you, I actually didn't realise until now there's a couple of throwaway matches on this card. I mean, we've also got Randy Orton and Rusev. Oh, my day. That, <laughs> that should be a Rusev. That should just simply be a Rusev. That's yeah. it. He's coming back. That should just be a Rusev. I mean, how bad is it if he loses to Cena and then loses to Orton back-to-back? Two yeah, veterans that like that. And Orton should, should take a double loss and go off for a bit. Yeah. He hears voices. I think we've always said Orton just doesn't click as a face. There's always something mm. missing. Yeah, yeah, you're right there. Um, I guess you could call it a throwaway match, but there's obviously some chemistry there between Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt. They both got those demonic ish characters. What's I mean? What's your feeling on Bray on Bray Wyatt? Because I have soured completely. I'm I'm yeah. done. I am done. He's chatting rubbish, and the 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 feuds he has are exactly the same. Everything is exactly the same. Nothing different. Yeah, it, it's pissed me off to be honest. Because I'd gone from a point where at one time he was my favorite guy on the roster. I loved everything he did. Yeah. But 
it's just loss after loss after loss. And as you said, it's the same promo. He's untouchable. He's this force of nature, but he's still jobbing to people. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too much, man. It's just it's just too much talking about nothing and feuds just exactly the same. I just can't take it anymore. I'm done, man. Yeah, his promos used to be the most compelling promos on the show, but now it's just there's no basis to them. There's nothing to yeah. invest in his words. I'm done. It's a, it's a, it's a cry and shame because he's so, even though it's become so meaningless, he's still one of the most unique characters they've got. Mm. Uh, but obviously, I'm expecting to see the demon at SummerSlam. Yeah. But uh, hopefully, there's some sort of variation on it. I don't know, because we've always seen the same version of the demon, and obviously in Japan he had all these different sort of face paints and body paints. Mm. So I want to see, might I, I want to see a little something different from Finn this time. Well, it's the way it's seen, man. Mm, especially since I feel like he kind of become lost since he came back. Like he's not quite sure where he is or what he's doing. Mm. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. So, uh, tag team championships: New Day versus the Usos. Oh, this should be good. I mean, they've had they've had a few good matches. Uh, I don't know why they took the straps off Usos. Usos <laughs> have been amazing. Uh, really, I really don't, really don't. Um, it'll be a good match. I can't call it though. It's probably going to be a New Day retain, but I hope it's a, a, um, a you know, a uh, Usos uh, win it. They yeah. regain. I think the Usos deserve it more, but I don't want to see another hot potato. No. So they've kind of put themselves into a corner with this one because I don't want to see the title change hands again, but I also don't think the Usos should lose. And that, yeah. that also sounds yeah, strange coming from me because I was never a fan of the Usos, but they have really impressed me lately. Yeah, I was. I, I wasn't really either until they just completely changed their characters and be more, you know, more themselves. Yeah, and instead of theme. trying, you know, so. Yeah, oh man, yeah, yeah, much better. Like, I thought the new theme was good anyway, but then when they add their stuff to it, I thought, yeah, this is it, man, this is it. Yeah, all right. Um, now, we're all familiar with the shenanigans of Shane O'Mac as a referee, but he's a face now. So, Shane McMahon referee in <laughs> the US Championship between AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. There was some hostility from both of them towards Shane on SmackDown. Yeah, uh, last week. Mm, yeah, there was. Yeah, 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 there was. I um, I, I think obviously they're pushing for some kind of Kevin Owens Shane match would probably be for that Survivor Series or something like that. Um, AJ should retain. I think I don't. The only way, yeah, the only way this stops, this feud stops, if if AJ retains because. You know, Owens wins, rematch clause. Yeah. Um, AJ wins, rematch clause. It's just too much. So it's got to stop somewhere, and that's probably where it's going to stop. Uh, are you interested in Shane versus Owens? Mm. See, I'm one of these people that don't really criticise Shane. I mean, I'm, I know he's not great, mm-hmm. but I always enjoy his matches. I mean, yeah, we. I, I mean, we all do kind of end up in, you know, enjoying enjoying his matches. Uh, so, but we just have to see, um, just have to see what he kind of do, what, what they do with it, really, because I think, it, you know, the way they built up the AJ Styles and Shane feud was really good. Yeah. You know, and the match was, uh, you know, way past my expectations. So, if it's anything like that, I'll be happy. Yeah, I think that took us by surprise because everyone thinks Shane McMahon, oh, he's gonna do crazy stuff and jump off stuff but it was just a pure wrestling match and arguably mm. against one of the best wrestlers in the world so yeah we shall see um, I think it's maybe time for the Cruiserweight Championship to change hands with Neville and Akira Tozawa yeah really I mean Titus worldwide <laughs> yeah I mean Titus now I think they've got something now Yeah, I think they've got a little something now um, so why not? I think he has been champ for too long now, so why not? Why not? Yeah, I, I hated the Titus brand to begin with. I didn't see any anything good about it, but bringing Tazawa, it's, it's been great to see Tazawa arguing, no, I'm okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> T- 
Tide is worldwide. <laughs> uh, and often, I, I just think I, you kind of forget Neville's champion. He just pops up every now and then. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're definitely right. They need to now, um, yeah, take it off him. I think he needs to come out of that cruiserweight division, to be honest, mm. and be on the main roster as a heel. Yeah. Uh, so we've got two obviously women's championship matches at the time of this recording we didn't know if it was going to be Sasha Banks or Nia Jax that's uh, taking on Alexa Bliss so I guess we're going to have to predict the outcome for both scenarios um, uh, if, if it's Nia Jax I can see Alexa retaining but if it's Sasha maybe title change yeah uh, I, think, I think you're right I think you're right um, I think soon they're going to have to build on Nia Jax's um, power thing because they've been doing it recently and I think they need to really start amping it up if they're going to do anything. Um, question, though. If Asuka comes out, where would you put her? You can, you can kind of put Asuka wherever you want because obviously she's pretty much a tweener in NXT, so she could take on Alexa, she could take on Sasha and just be herself. Mm, yeah. Yeah, there's interesting matches on both sides anyway. Um, people have been predicting a heel turn for Sasha. I don't see it, especially while Bailey's injured. If there's yeah, going to be no, a turn, I'll, no. I'll expect it to see when Bailey comes back. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, we just have to see what they do, man. We just have to see what they do. Uh, we've got Naomi defending against Natalia. Part of me doesn't see the point of it because even though Natalia's a veteran and it's about time she had a title shot, we know it's going to be Naomi. Yeah, yeah. They, they never yeah. seem it to be, be invested in Natalia. No, and I'll be surprised, very surprised if... Uh, yeah, I'll be very surprised if she takes it down. Very, very surprised. Although I would be happy to see the glow extinguished. Oh man, I like the glow. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I like the glow. I am not gonna lie. I, I do like the glow. I just like the something different, man. Like yeah, I just like I like when it's when they're marketing themselves and it's just so different to every everyone else. You know, when you look at fucking what's it called? When you look at um Luke Harper, you know um Dean Ambrose, you look at Baron Corbin, uh you, you know look at Bray Wyatt, they're all wife beaters and jeans. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. They're all wife beaters and jeans, you know? Slightly holding wife beaters and jeans. It's just, you know, it's, you look at her, she's completely different. Her entrance is different. The way she wrestles is different. Her, she got the glow thing. She's it's different. All of it's different. So that's why that's why I, I, I like it. There's too much too much of the same kind of stuff I've been seeing recently. So that's why I like it. Uh, uh, yeah, I can see it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the two main events... I don't know why I say that. There's only one main event. There's no such thing as two main events. Uh, the match that goes on last is the main event. But second to last, I'm guessing, will be the WWE Championship. Unless it's on much earlier in the card. Uh, Jinder defending against Shinsuke. This is a funny one, Daz. This is a funny one because I feel like there's... there's uh, I feel like they're using this. They're using Shinsuke as a scapegoat for either one of two things. Either for Jinder to carry on and push on from here, you know, be be in, you know, certain people, and then ended up probably facing John Cena, or they they're doing it to get Baron Corbin to cash in. Now, yeah. what I would like, what I would like is Shinsuke to win, and Corbin to cash in, and Shinsuke still win. Yeah, that'd be cool. But. I just think that this is probably some setup for Baron Corbin, and the only way they can do it without getting the title off Jinder, um, it's directly from Jinder, and doing that weird baby um, heel versus heel thing, is by inserting a heel to, to take the, a baby face to take the the thing. And for me, it's fucked up that they use the Shinsuke to do that, and then we're gonna go into a Shinsuke um, Aaron Corbin title program, which I'm just not looking forward to. I just don't think... I think if Shinsuke wins, Shinsuke wins and goes on and has some really good matches, but I just don't see that happening. Yeah, I mean, I kind of get it, the the old Daniel Bryan feel if, the, if that's the way they're going. Mm -hmm. We'll have to wait till WrestleMania to see Nakamura get it back. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, it's just weird. It's weird. Um, it's You know, we're looking at 
you after this now we're going to start looking at royal rumble yeah. you know i'm in august you know how we do man we're going to start looking at royal rumble we're going to start looking at wrestlemania and seeing how they start <clears throat> piecing these things together yeah. um and it makes sense for us to see aj versus nakamura at wrestlemania but <sighs> who knows who knows we ignore Survivor Series as a big pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so the main event will most likely be the Fatal 4-Way for the Universal Championship, with Brock possibly leaving for UFC. Uh, well, he will be le- leaving if he loses, and taking Paul Heyman with him against Roman Reigns, Samoa Joe, and Braun Strowman. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I, see a, I see a Brock retain. The only reason I say this, yeah, is because... Brock has just won it and he hasn't had a pay-per-view match since then, yeah? So it's like a one and done. That's weird. I find that weird to have Lesnar on a one and done. Uh, so I see Lesnar winning and uh, I'm retaining, yeah. I just don't think it's time to take it off him yet. I think he'll they'll take it off him come... Um, or I don't know. I won't say that, but I'll just say that they won't take it off him yet because it's just a bit of a one, you know, one and done. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of had that feeling that they were purposely pushing the UFC thing to throw us off, mm. which would mean Lesnar retains. Or, of course, there's always there's usually a shocking heel turn at SummerSlam, so there's a, there's a little part of me that thinks maybe Heyman turns on Brock again. Cause then he doesn't have to leave because he's got a new Heyman guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I, I just it, this is one that's got me kind of up in the air now I just uh, just not sure where they're going to go with this really not sure where they're going to go it'll be interesting to see though very interesting to see how they do, how they do this yeah I mean I'd love to know what the chances are of them pulling the trigger on Braun Strowman because the guy mm. is over as fuck oh yeah oh yeah definitely definitely um I just uh, Strowman with the strap. Yeah. I just want to see Roman. Um, Br- uh, sorry, I'm gonna see Braun beat Roman for the strap. That's what I want to see. But um, if 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 Braun pins Reigns for the strap, that'll be pretty good. I mean, the crowd will will go nuts if Braun if, if Braun wins. Yeah, I mean we've seen him beat Roman plenty of times, which is mm. kind of unheard of. Not many people beat Roman Reigns. No. Uh, so if Braun is a Universal Champion, who the hell is going to stop him if even Super Roman can't? True, true, yeah. <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, but we shall see with the, well, if you include the pre-show, six-hour SummerSlam. Jeez. Uh, I'm wondering now how many of those 11 matches are going to get bumped to the pre-show. Yeah, I know, I know. Probably They'll probably have two on there. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, actually, I don't know. Cass and Big Show, maybe? End up on the pre-show? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, well, that is the end of this pre-show. A uh, big thank you to Kinder Killer. Any last words for the champion? Uh, Boy, all I can say is, I'm the champ, and you're not. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, and where can people find you on social media? You can find so they can find Sunday Segway this at Sunday Segway Segway spelled S E G U E. You can find me this at Kinney Killer this K I L L A. Alrighty, and you can find me at Dazzy M W P. And right after this, you can find me at Promo Slam too. Stay tuned. I'll see you on the other side. And that, my friends, is the bottom line. <laughs> This is not my punishment, this is my catalyst for growth, I know I will survive this.